Ampere's law essentially gives us a relationship between electricity and magnetism. That is, it gives us a mathematical relationship, an equation between magnetic fields and electric currents. So we can use Ampere's law to calculate the magnetic field that is produced by an electric current moving inside a wire of any shape. So let's begin by looking at the following wire that carries an electric current given by I in the positive direction along the Y axis. So let's begin by choosing an arbitrary closed path around our wire as shown by the following region. So this is our arbitrarily chosen closed path around our wire, around our wire that contains our electric current. So now we take our loop, we take our pathway, and we divide it into very small segments, in fact, into infinitely small segments given by DL. Now, each one of these segments given by DL has its own magnetic field that exists as a result of the electric current that passes through our wire, and that magnetic field is given by B. Now, let's examine what Ampere's law tells us. It essentially tells us that the sum of the product of the component of the magnetic field that points parallel with respect to our segment DL and DL, this sum which is equal to the closed integral of our dot product of the magnetic field B and our infinitely small section DL is equal to mu naught, the permeability of free space, which is simply a constant, multiplied by the enclosed electric current that passes through the surface given by this closed pathway. So this relationship is known as Ampere's Law. So to see how Ampere's Law works, let's look at the following example in which we're going to apply this equation. So we want to use Ampere's Law to determine the magnetic field produced by a long straight wire with the current given by I and the hint is we want to choose a pathway that is completely symmetrical. So let's choose a pathway that is a circular closed pathway. So here we have our wire that contains an electric current given by I which travels in the positive direction along the Y axis. We choose a circular pathway with the radius given by R and we essentially want to cut up this pathway into infinitely small segments given by DL. And then we want to take the closed integral around this entire pathway of the dot product of our magnetic field in each small segment and multiplied by the length of that segment. Now by the definition of the dot product, the dot product of two vectors is equal to the product of the magnitude of those two vectors multiplied by the cosine of the angle theta. Now the angle theta between these two vectors is zero degrees and that's because the uh, magnetic field that we choose is parallel. Now, cosine of zero is one, so this simply becomes the integral, the closed integral, so that means our initial point is zero and our final point is simply the entire circumference of our closed pathway. And because it's a circular pathway and the radius is r, the circumference is given by 2 pi r. So we're integrating from zero to 2 pi r of the product of B D L. Now, if we integrate this, we see that this is equal to B multiplied by L from 0 to 2 pi, and we evaluate our integral, and we see that this is equal to B multiplied by 2 pi r, our circumference. Now, by Ampere's law, we know this is equal to mu naught multiplied by the total electric current that passes 
through this region of space. Now, because this is equal to this, from this result, we know that mu naught multiplied by the electric current is equal to the magnetic field multiplied by the circumference 2 pi r. So now, if we solve for our magnetic field, we see that the magnetic field produced by a long straight wire with a current I is given by this equation which was given in the previous in a previous lecture so the magnetic field is equal to the constant mu naught divided by 2 pi multiplied by the electric current in the wire divided by the perpendicular distance r from the wire to the point where we're examining our magnetic field so once again this equation gives us the magnetic field due to a current i in a long straight wire a perpendicular distance r from that wire and this equation was essentially derived using Ampere's law so once again Ampere's law is essentially a mathematical representation between the relationship between magnetic fields and electric currents so we can essentially use Ampere's law to calculate the magnetic field that is produced by an electric current moving inside a wire of any type of shape in this case our wire was a straight wire